You missed it. You missed it. Oh, Trey's trying to find Trey, Trey, right here. Trey, right here. It's up in this tree right here, bud. Got him. It's fine. Yeah, they got big teeth, baby. Grab it by its tail. Pick it up. That's a big old squirrel. There you go. I didn't shoot it, but... You didn't shoot it, but that's okay. That's a good one. Well, here's the one squirrel. <laughs> it's a good sized squirrel, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Taryn? Your first squirrel hunt, really? Well, the first squirrel hunt that we've actually got something. That we've actually got something, yeah. Yeah. He's actually pretty heavy. For yeah, a squirrel. he's fairly heavy. He's a good sized squirrel. Mm -hmm. I hate we couldn't connect on any of those others, though. Mm hmm. All right, two let's... shots to get him, but. Well, we don't know if it's the same squirrel or not. Well, I think it is because if you look at the butt, looks like there's a shot there and a shot down here. Okay, so you think that's the one Trey may have yeah. hit and then I finished off? I think Trey hit it here in the foot, and yeah. then you hit it down there on the leg. Think so? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get it cleaned up in a minute. Yeah. Okay, we're back inside now. It's been uh, seven days since we killed the first squirrel, and then I think three or four days now since we killed the second and third ones. What we did was we skinned them out, dressed them out there, we quartered them, and then we saved the, the back portion, so I cut the ribs off and we left the lower back, kind of where the, where the uh, squirrel back strap and tenderloins, if you want to call it, would be. So each squirrel has five chunks in it. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add some milk to this bag and some spice some seasoning. So basically all I'm going to do is milk, salt, and then I've got the Reload Rub uh, Double Action, which is the Sweet and Smoky Blend. I'm going to mix it all in here together and I'm going to put it back in the fridge and I'm just going to let it sit there and kind of marinate for another two hours or so before we begin to start cooking it. So just open the bag. This is just regular 2% milk. I don't have buttermilk. A lot of people prefer to use buttermilk on it. You can make buttermilk if you use regular milk, but I'm not going to mess with it for today. I'm going to pour enough milk in there to kind of cover it. Pinch of salt. And then the seasoning. And then I'm just going to zip the bag up. And I'll do this a couple times, just kind of mix it all around, get everything all mixed in nice and evenly in there. Make sure the salt and seasoning gets on everything. And we'll stick it back in the fridge and wait a little bit. Okay, so the squirrel's done. We've, uh, we've had it marinating in the fridge now for about two hours, and I turned it a couple times. My daughter turned it a couple times, so it's done. We're gonna start getting ready to get everything else prepared. So what we're gonna have with this squirrel tonight is we're gonna have some mashed potatoes and corn on the cob. Both of it came from our garden. So we've got some more of our potatoes here left over that we dug back in around uh, August. And so here it is now, 1st of February. So. You know, we're still eating on potatoes we dug. Karen, I'm going to have you slice these in just a second. All I do is, is I just take them and slice them in half like that. Slice them in half again? Yeah, I'm just going to make them into chunks and throw them in that pot right there, okay? So and half and half again and then half. Yeah, half and half again. So, bud, you know what shortening is, right? It makes things shorter. Yeah, it makes things shorter. Not, not really, yeah. So you're, you're saying we should use a largening to make the squirrel mm -hmm. bigger, right? Yeah. Okay, well, if you can find a tub of largening, then you know, they're making, you know, cooking lard. <laughs> Almost like largening. Anyway, this is like grease. Oh. So it'll, it'll, it'll turn the eye on. So turn the eye on back there. This is, you need to put it on the big burner, okay? 
There you go. So we're gonna let this melt down, and then we'll take the squirrel, take it out, and we'll put it in here, and we'll just brown the squirrel, okay? Okay. The skillet's getting hot. We're gonna start putting the squirrel meat on here to brown it, and after it's brown, we're gonna transfer it over. Turn it down a little bit. Uh, yeah. And transfer it over to the uh, pressure cooker. And that smells good. That smells good? Yeah. Good. All, All right, of it smells so, good, you just put it in. So we've got the uh, squirrel in here. I've got the heat going back up a little bit now. We're just browning it. We didn't quite get all of it. There's a little bit, there's like three more leg quarters to, to brown up next. But we're going to brown this up. We're going to transfer it over here. And we're going to have to add some water to the pressure cooker. And then we'll get this going. And so you got to be careful anytime you're doing this sort of stuff, kids, because it you see it's uh -huh. the oil gets hot and any water that's in everything, it starts kicking it out. You know, it's oil and water don't mix very well like that. So it starts trying to kick it out. So you gotta be really careful anytime you're frying and stuff. Which you, kicks the other out. And then and the glasses, I'm glad I wear glasses when I do this sort of stuff too, because I have had oil pop up and hit you in the, right beside the eye before. So all we're doing is just putting a little brown sear on it. See all that's got yeah. a brown coating on it? Looks good. Yeah, you get a little brown on it. Really good. You don't, you don't have to worry about even cooking it all the way through, because it'll cook all the way through in the yeah. pressure cooker. Yeah. Yeah, so everything's getting a nice brown glaze to it here. All right, so this first batch is just about done. You can see the you can see the brown caramelization going on here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the top off the pressure canner, pressure cooker, not the canner, but the cooker, and I'm going to start putting these pieces that are done down in here. So, so, so let's cover them. Yeah. So that's done. Taking that off. I also threw two of the squirrel livers on here to cook them up real quick. The kids like the kids like rabbit livers and all that sort of stuff. So this would be really similar to that. Just be a little snack they can have here while they're waiting on the rest of this stuff to cook up. I'm gonna turn this heat down a little bit now. So we just once we're done with the squirrel, we're gonna take and we're gonna move this cast iron skillet off the off the hot eye, and we're gonna save the, the grease in here to start making some gravy with later. Yeah. All right. So livers are coming off, kids. You put them here on the plate here yeah. for you. Let them, let them cool a cake, this a little bit. A cake plate. A cake yeah. plate, yeah. Just let them cool, and then you can you can have them. And then as soon as, as soon as these are done, I'm going to transfer them to the uh, pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. Back to the squirrel here, transferring it over here to the pressure cooker. Throwing it in. Now, for the instructions with the pressure cooker, you need one and a half cups of water for any kind of wild game meat. I'm just going to pour that in the bottom there. You got to lock the lid on. I've already got the I've already got the weight on the top here. So a lot of people are scared of pressure cookers. We use pressure canners all the time and we can stuff. So not really anything to be afraid of as far as that goes. But a lot of people are afraid of them. So anyway, got this on. Got the lid locked in. You'll see the safety lock will pop up as it comes to temperature. Your little pressure valve up here will start to rattle. We're going to pressure cook for 15 to 20 minutes, and then we're going to turn it off, let it cool down, and then the squirrel will be done. Okay, you all have no idea how hard it has been to keep these two away from eating these these two <laughs> livers over here. Hold on, what? <laughs> Exaggerator. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, you were trying to eat it with the big I was Santoku knife there. I yeah, was. Yeah. All right, kids, you can go ahead and have your livers there. They're maybe a little warm. They should have cooled down by now. Like, like liver? Over, yeah. Other than just a lot smaller. It's, yeah. It's really good though. Is it really good? Uh-huh. Good. Trey, <laughs> you still like that? Yeah. Yeah. The heart was like the size of the tip of my pinky. <laughs> it wasn't really worth keeping. <laughs> All right, so the pressure cooker's going strong. We've got it. Three minutes left on that. I had it set for 15 minutes here, so it's not doing a steady, uh, it's not doing a steady release there. It's, you can see what it's doing. It's not like it's constantly chattering. It's kind of on and off, on and off, on and off. But it's been going now for about 12 minutes. Going to give it a couple more minutes here. Okay. Well, that's it for the squirrel. I'm going to turn it off now. 
and it's going to have to cool down to do its thing. Once it does, once the pressure is released, you know, we'll take the top off. We're going to start working on some gravy and potatoes here in just a minute. Things are coming together. Be ready here soon. All right, we got the wife in here making the gravy because I can't make gravy. Actually, I've never tried to make gravy. But why start when you have a wife, right? <laughs> what do you need me to do, babe? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. This is just all-purpose flour, right? Yep, just flour. And all you're using... And oil. In this case, you're using the leftover shortening I used from frying. You just use enough flour until you get all the oil absorbed up. Kind of it looks about like that. Let it cook a minute, and we'll start adding the milk. Add milk and stir till the clumps are on. Yeah. And the brown and all that specks is just the remnants from where we fried earlier, right? Yep. So, unless you have a dirty cast iron skillet. No, this is a very <laughs> well seasoned cast iron skillet. And you're, you're doing this on like a uh, medium high heat right now. Yep. Pressure cooker has come down. As you can see, the weight's gone now. There's no more chirping, no more rattling. The safety lock is not up. So, everything should open. Let me get some just in case you have that one right there too sometimes there is a little bit of steam still in there uh, snoopy you're not getting any of this there we go. let me set this over here and there's that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take this squirrel out and i'm going to put it in this gravy and we're going to just let it cook a little oh my lord this squirrel is falling off the bone already is that the right consistency you want for yeah. the gravy yeah just the 15 minutes this squirrel normally is tough but it is literally falling apart right now put it in this gravy just going to let it sit oh, just going to let it sit there and marinate in this gravy just a little bit before we start scooping it out and plating it up Getting, oh, just getting that, some. That's good. Piece of corn. There, there it is. Go. We got the Ampers food. This is our buy. She's new baby. Yes. Alright, dig in, kids and mama. Let us know how it is. It's hot. That's good. That good? Mm -hmm. As long as they chew, chew easily because you may find a bone. We tried to pick all the pellets out, but you never know. That's good. That's good. You that like that? That's really good. That's really good? It's like a rabbit. That's like, well, it should. It's similar. It's crazy how tender it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. well, it's just falling off the bone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who with the gravy? Mm -hmm. All right. That's it for our uh, squirrel dinner here tonight. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know if this is something you like to see. The kids enjoy watching these kind of videos, and so now they got to participate in making one. So, hope you like it. Leave us a comment, subscribe, whatever. Have yourself a good day. God bless.